We're extremely honored to be presenting these four very rare and very important works by Robert Rauschenberg in our forthcoming sales on May 15th and 16th. Known as the North African collages and the shirtboard collages, the works which we're selling from the collection of Susan Weil were probably one of the first forays into creating a sense of structure, using found objects and using the collage concept which evolved eventually into combines. Robert Rauschenberg and Susan Weil actually met in Paris in 1948. They had both traveled to Paris to study at the Academy Julien, which was a destination for many aspiring artists. But the instruction at the Academy Julien was very, very academic, and they both were looking for more. It was true serendipity. We just really hit it off. We loved words, we loved fooling around, we loved uh, painting most of all. Susan had decided to return to the United States, having heard of the legendary Black Mountain College in North Carolina. And um, Rauschenberg followed Susan to Black Mountain. And at the time, he was really living on the GI Bill, so he had to be connected to a school to support himself. Joseph Albers was teaching at Black Mountain and many other people from the Bauhaus School. Joseph Albers, he had come from the Bauhaus. He was known as a strict uh, disciplinarian in terms of concept and theory, but was incredibly influential. And for a growing generation of post-war American artists, he provided the kind of structure, sort of understanding of theory and ideas. It was a mecca for a generation of artists. You had Annie Albers, Merce Cunningham and John Cage, Kenneth Nolan, Franz Klein, Mullen de Kooning, Lane de Kooning, Cy Twombly, not to mention certain poets and writers. Albers really brought this generation together with a, a new vision of where they would really be taking their, their art. The fact of the happenings really beginning there was very logical because it was joining together music and dance and art. After a year at Black Mountain, Susan and Bob actually returned to New York City. They spent summers in Outer Island, Connecticut with Susan's family, um, and they had an apartment in New York, which served both as an apartment and a studio. His interest in photography was particularly rich. In employing this idea of photography and Susan's interest in the collage and layering, they were making these amazing pieces called blueprints. And in this cramped studio, they were actually documented in Life magazine at the time. In fact, the Museum of Modern Art included one of their blueprints in an early exhibition, 1951. They were married in 1950, and they had a son, Christopher, that was born in 1951. We grew up together in art. There's no question of it. It was just a shared enthusiasm. While in New York, Robert um, enrolled in the Art Students League and met Cy Twombly. They became very, very friendly, um, sharing ideas. Twombly had set off for Europe and was going to Italy, and Rauschenberg followed him. And they began a trip and a travel through Italy and North Africa in 52 and 53. Up until that point, he'd worked with white paintings, and the white paintings really were very much about his interest in what he'd learned at Black Mountain to some degree, which was the idea of chance um, and movement, and the paintings being a surface for collecting what was going on in the world around them. He had experimented with newsprint, collage, and monochromatic black paintings, sometimes letting the paper show through so you would see headlines, but he really hadn't ventured into color and composition in any capacity. The collages from North Africa, which many were made on shirtboard, there are probably a total of around 33. The majority, in fact, almost evenly divided between the Sonnabend Estate and the Rauschenberg Foundation, and the four that Susan Weil owns, and maybe one or two in a private collection elsewhere. They're four quite extraordinary pieces because they represent the full spectrum of the most complex to the most simple. They're known, actually, as the shirtboard drawings, or North African collages, because Rauschenberg used the cardboard that was inserted in a laundered shirt as the base for the works. He didn't have a studio and very little money. His studio was portable, if you will. He'd haunt the flea markets in Rome, the bookstalls in, in Morocco, and just found these objects. And taking these objects, whatever it was that appealed to him, and they'd be incorporated into these works. One which is the most complex and sort of representative of where the combines were to go is the locomotive, which has this fantastic collage of, cut out from a technical book which shows the origins of a locomotive. 
along with fabric and silk and paint and the whole idea of layers. What is particularly beautiful about the locomotive is that there's this aspect where you can actually lift something up and you see something beneath it. And that became a very much a signifying aspect of Rauschenberg's work. The collage called Scorpion with plant is newsprint cut from Arabic to newspapers. And we actually had it translated. And when you translate, you see the newsprint is referring to two key moments in early 1953, which dates the work, which is the inauguration of Dwight Eisenhower, as well as Queen Elizabeth's first official visit to the African colonies. So these are not only interesting in terms of what they represent, but they're also this time capsule. In this group, we have elongated X as well as X drawing. And these two works, which are extremely subtle, I mean, they're beautiful, but they represent many, many layers of tissue and vellum. And he used glue as a medium, along with the cutouts of found objects. And most importantly, we see the arrival of drawing. Here we see this beautiful black charcoal line through the layers of tissue and glue. They were quite important in the sense of his exploration and his life journey as it went on from there. These four works are actually, in their own way, very early combines. They represent truly a departure point for Rauschenberg and his work. The notion of composition, this wonderful horizontal and vertical structure, the building to the surface with objects and imagery, fabric and materials. The process stayed with Rauschenberg through his life. <laughs>